Hello everyone. There's Moses from out there gardens. The mine? Okay, let's go talk about the pomegranates though. Remember the pomegranates? Yeah, there's a lot of bugs in the mine. Yeah, they're ants in the mine. They want your gold. Talk about the pomegranate shot. Look at the, all the pomegranate fruit. Remember? Look right here. Look. What are those? Remember I told you? Pomegranates. Yeah. Yeah, there is a big one. What are you eating? Purple tree collard now? Look at this big one. You see how there's a split? We gotta take it off soon, but look how big it is in my hand. There's a lot of these. We gotta get them off, son. Where? It has an ant? Yeah, the ants are trying to find. There's another big one right there. Where? That's too dumb. That's too small. Hey, Lulu. Yeah, they're too small, but there's like maybe 10 or 12 really, really big ones. But you see, we have a problem here. It's splitting. That's not good, Sean. We got to get them off before our bugs get in them. You and the purple tree colored, son. You're hungry? Okay. Come on. All right, thanks for helping. You don't like the leaves? You like the stem? <laughs> All right, thank you, Shant. I hope a lot of you that are growing pomegranates had a good harvest this year. It was a little hit and miss. My son's going to go back to fixing his Minecraft mine. It's a mine. Okay. It's a real mine that has golden diamonds. Not golden diamonds. Gold and diamonds. Back to the pomegranate. So if you see pomegranates like mine, a couple of them that are splitting, you got to get them off. One, that means they're ready. Or you water too heavily or too much rain came in your location and it's split open. Now the problem with that is bugs can get in, obviously, or birds or anything else that wants to eat the pomegranates. So now's the time to pick your pomegranates. No later than now. A quick tip here. If you're going to use the pomegranate within a few days, cut this off where the flower was because you don't know what could be uh, living in there. You can see some spider webs. You don't know what's in there. So cut it to make sure there's no rotting into the core of the fruit before you store it for like a couple weeks or more in the pantry. You find out there's like a nest and next thing you know, Insects will be all through your pantry because you didn't check what was in here. So the key is to cut this open with your pruners. Another tip here is if you're trying to get pomegranates that are pretty deep into the pomegranate uh, tree, don't try to reach in because there's some wicked thorns on some varieties. Prune your way to the pomegranate fruit. So cut it back so now you have a clear shot. You won't get stabbed by these wicked thorns of the pomegranate tree. Big, beautiful pomegranate, right? Not. Nah. Look at that. Finish pruning the pomegranate a little bit too so I can get into the tree and prune off a lot of the bottom growth back to a tree. You can see it right here. The main tree in instead of a bush, it's a tree. Uh, had a few things I had to throw away. Had some aphids or just too small. There's some more over there and there's a one infested too I have to throw away, do not put them in the compost pile, molded and infested. But I got a lot of good uh, pomegranates here. You can see it's a pretty big bucket, five gallon. And uh, about four or five of these of this size. And the rest, the rest are pretty good size. So I'm gonna be making uh, juice probably with this or adding it to uh, tabule or a zatar salad. Happy harvest and happy gardening, everyone. Okay, like, share, subscribe, and thanks for watching, everyone.